Good morning, everyone. I am back on my vlogs feeling a little bit refreshed. I haven't washed my hair, so I have no excuse to be touching it. However, I did want to show you this. This was the um, hair oil that I um, tried and love, literally love this. My scalp is even better now, I'm so happy. I just filmed this little makeup tutorial for IGTV. I have used the Rodeal Glow Drops and I love them. I love them as a highlighter, as a little bit of like skin glow. They're just dewy and lovely. I'm really happy. I've got them on my eyes as well, just as a little subtle. Ooh. I um, I crashed yesterday and I spent the entire day in my pajamas and my husband looked after me. And I just think, I think that maybe sometimes I'm, well, I mean, I've been working on my brand for such a long time that I'm gonna be invested in it, obviously. And it was just, I was a bit like, oh, a bit exhausted, so a delicate flower. But today is a very, very beautiful day. The weather has improved. Th those two weeks of rain that we were supposed to have never ever happened. And it was, yeah, it's just been lovely. So hopefully I'm gonna have a lovely little day with you. I want to get my herbs potted. Um, I was, we were trying to think of a name, like do we do like Gordon's produce or something like that? Because mi mid because Millen Gordon's produce is a little bit too long, but I really like Perkins produce. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna get those potted today and I am just basically gonna see how today pl pans out with you basically because I actually don't have much plan. The only thing I do have planned is to get into some boxes with you because um, I have a far-fetch order of items that I have purchased and these are some beautiful dresses. I've just been living in beautiful dresses recently and it makes me really happy just kind of floating around my house in lovely linen beautifulness. And so I, I hopped onto Farfetch and I did a little bit of an order. And this video is in partnership with Farfetch. I have an ongoing partnership with them. Um, so we're gonna be doing quite a few videos over the coming months together. And hopefully it will help you with sort of shopping on there. I personally love shopping on there because their like range is extensive. And if I ever, ever can't find anything somewhere, I will always find it on Farfetch. They always have it in stock. It's because they have all of these independent boutiques from around the world. I'm waiting on one order, by the way. One order to come, and it's come all the way from Australia, and these dresses I'm so excited to see. So I think that they're supposed to arrive today. But basically, I wanted to get some really timeless items into my wardrobe. I think that that is obviously where I choose to sort of put my money into when it comes to higher end items, and linen items are where I get my wear, especially in, in uh, this time of the year. Obviously we did a little bit of a haul back before Christmas as well and I wanted some Balmain dresses that I know are never gonna go out of style and I'm gonna be able to wear them season on season, just beautiful, timeless black dresses. And I think that linens are that sort of style for summer for me. I'm always in linen, you'll remember last year, and I need to stop going on about it, but it just makes me very, very happy as a fabric. I don't know why, it is bizarre how much I love this fabric. So basically, I'm going to um, open the boxes that I have with you. I think I have three or four. What is that, Lydia? I think I have three or four, and um, get those open, and then hopefully by the time we've done that, the last one will have arrived, and I can show you those as well. I also want to wear one of them today because they have sat there and I've waited patiently. You know, I always wait patiently so that um, we can do this together and it kills me. <laughs> I just want to get into these boxes. As always, these items will be linked in the description box down below and I also have a discount code. So you can get 10% off with my code, which is FFLydia10 and that is valid until the 13th, the 13th of the 6th, 2020. So I'll keep reminding you on social media just in case you forget because I always forget. I, I think, oh my God, that person had a code. Then I forget about it. So I'll keep reminding you whenever I sort of wear a bit just so that you know. Very exciting and I think knowing you guys that you're gonna like these pieces a lot and also this these price points. I've gone for slightly lower price point items and I mean lower price point in the sense that some items on uh, Farfetch are thousands and thousands and thousands. But I wanted to get some basics in terms of linen. I've got some new shirts because I live in linen shirts and some dresses as well. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it. Let's get into the boxes, let's do this. So we have, oh, Three boxes, I have a fourth one coming, I believe. So two of these boxes are actually from England, so they arrived really quickly, and I think that this one is either from New Zealand, or, because this one doesn't have a sticker. I think I might have taken it off the other box. But these two are both 
from England. So let's get into this one first and foremost because I'm excited. As I was mentioning, Farfetch basically houses loads of really gorgeous independent uh, boutiques from around the world. So you are shopping so many different places without even realizing. Like I think some of these items have come from Browns in London, but then the other items have come from the other side of the world. I find it like a little bit exciting. Right, let's get this box open because we can't do two things at once now, can we Lydia? Oh, here we go. Oh, I also wanted to say that obviously this is in partnership with Farfetch, but um, I have put a considerable amount of my money towards this. So I've doubled, essentially. These two items are actually two of the more affordable items and I was so excited for these. And I'm so excited for this brand as well. This is a brand called Venroy and they seem to sort of specialize in linen products. So this is the branding, if you can see there, Venroy. And I believe that this is an oversized, no, 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 this is the more like true to size, classic white linen shirt. I got this in a small and I wanted this as a basic because A, I live in white shirts anyway, but linen shirts for me are just the sexiest thing on women, on men, they are stunning. I love like popping them over a dress and knotting it or wearing it with some jeans and just like no bra. I love them on men, like men in, in white shirts, chinos and sliders, like beautiful leather sliders. Oh. So anyway, this is a classic uh, white shirt. So I'll try that on and show you what it looks like and show you how I would style that up because it looks, you know, it looks fairly basic, but for me, this is an essential, like an absolute wardrobe essential. This is a color that is slightly different for me, but I thought again, totally timeless. I hope it fits. This is a one shoulder linen dress, again from Venroy. And um, it's sort of like, got this raw hem detail like look at how beautiful that is and i just thought that this will get worn to within an inch of its life because a one shoulder i mean linen and this beautiful blue color i thought would be quite nice and quite simple and very easy to wear especially now and especially in summer and especially on holidays this with sandals and castagna wedges you know what i'm like i'm i'm the type of person that you know, if something works for me, I stick to it. Hopefully it fits. It looks quite wide there, but we're gonna get it on and we're gonna see and we're gonna judge. I think this dress is a winner. I have, um, I've actually already cut the label out of this because I tried it on and I realized that I needed to steam it. I always steam my linen rather than iron it because I think ironing it gives it too much of a crisp feel. So when it does eventually crease, which it will, and you kind of have to embrace that, it just looks weird. So I always steam linen outfits or tops or dresses because it looks better. Um, this is a slip on dress. So because it's rigid and it's linen, you need to have a more like loose fit. And this is slightly more loose fitted um i could potentially like have some of this taken out if i wanted to but i actually i think this is really comfortable it fits nicely on the bust so i wouldn't need to go smaller on the bust but for me this is just one of those dresses that you put on and you feel amazing like i love the one shoulder detail i love the color i love that cut and the rawness of the of the hem it's beautiful i am such a new fan of this brand, it's unreal. I haven't actually styled it up yet, but I'll style it up in the cutaways. But yeah, and it's super comfortable, really easy to wear, and one of those items, you could easily throw one of the, the white shirts. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do for the white shirt. I'm gonna pop it over the top of this and you can see how I would style that up that way. So for the Venroy shirt, I've actually knotted this over the dress, like I said. I think that this is a really nice way to make this slightly more covered up, um, a little bit more casual as well. You just literally knot it up. I always wear my sleeves rolled up on a linen shirt. For me, this is a relaxed shirt. This is not a smart shirt at all. So it, if I was to leave the, the cuffs done up, it would feel too formal. I really like it to, to feel quite relaxed and um, um, just thrown on and this is a look that I'm wearing quite a lot just throwing one of these over my shoulders just takes the edge off any chills in the evening that uh, there might be um, but I really love this look and I would pair it with probably this floral wild floral lady Dior bag because I love it and it reminds me of my garden obviously castanio wedges as standard because um, I love them <laughs> so this is from Joseph in St John's Wood thank you for shopping with us at 21 St. John's Wood. So this item, this is just one item, and this is a Zimmerman white dress. This is just beautiful. It's like broderie anglais, and then it's got this tie waist, 
So this is another one of those things that I look for. If you're able to cinch in a waist on a dress, you are pretty much good to go with your normal size because you'll be able to cinch it in to fit you perfectly. Uh, this is a midi dress and I really just wanted something that had this broderie anglais feel. Obviously slightly higher neck, sleeveless for summer, but beautiful and I think that this is something that I'll keep. I tend to to now, I, I sort of know how to shop with Zimmerman, Zimmerman a little bit better nowadays, and I don't tend to go for the prints with Zimmerman. I go for the plain colors because those are the colors that they redo and aren't necessarily seasonally dependent. Does that make sense? They don't date as much. So the, the, the sort of singular color, the whites, they, especially the white linen. If you want to invest in some Zimmerman, go for white linen, go for white broderie anglais because it's not going anywhere basically. But yeah, so let's try this on. I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and I went for a more midi style because that just seems to be what I'm going for at the moment. So um, we will try that on for size. This is the white broderie anglaise dress and this is just such an easy wear, but it's so, such a nice way to wear a white dress and also have some detailing on it um, but it's not so like rigid and tight fitted as um, the blue one that I've tried on this one is slightly more loose fitted so I can cinch it in at the waist with the little ties so yeah this is definitely much easier to feel pretty and wear around the house at this time but also transition into outside world as well because it is super comfortable and look at the detailing on it it's not see-through either because it does appear to be quite well lined and also this detailing wouldn't show it up anyway so I really like this I think this is going to be a keeper I'm also going to be telling you any items that I'm going to be sending back um, I would hate for anyone to think that I just order things purely for the sake of doing a haul and then send it back. That's not why I do this at all. So I, I, I'll make it clear which items I send back, but I don't buy items purely to keep everything. Uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, that looks nice, but I'm not sure, or I don't plan on keeping all of the dresses because I just want to make sure that one of the dresses is nice. But with this one, it's just kind of, if something doesn't look right, it will be sent back. That's generally how I do things on my hauls. But yeah, definitely gonna be keeping this one as well because I think it's a good one to hang on to. This one, I think this is the one that is from Browns. How do we get in here? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Everyone's got different boxes. I love those tabs, they are so handy. Yes, so this is from Browns. Lots of little stickers in here. Oh, cute, it comes in a little pouch. So I must be missing two orders from Farfetch. Fingers crossed they arrive. Where's the other one? Oh, there's one that I'm so excited about. Oh my goodness, so my, you would have seen in my last vlog that my antique bench arrived from Home Barn. Look what Ali has just sent me. Pictures of Lumi curled up on the little bench. So I'm missing three dresses, okay, three dresses, and I'm gonna try and work out where they are first because I'm a little bit worried. We have one that is supposed to arrive today, I'm sure of it. Farfetch is scheduled for delivery tomorrow by the end of the day by UPS. Oh no. Yeah, so it's saying it's coming, but I don't know which one this is. So there was one that was stuck. I did know that, and I don't know if it's still stuck. And that is the Karen Walker items. So one of the dresses, which I'm really excited about, is coming from Italy, Bruno Rosso. That's scheduled for today. So I think the Karen Walker ones. Okay, so we have two orders that are due for delivery today. Fingers crossed. One Zimmerman dress, two Karen Walker dresses. Sorry, that took me a blooming age. Anyway, let's get into these ones. So this, this dress is a Zimmerman print dress, but I could not. So this is one of those items that I'm hopeful. Oh, I'm hopeful. Oh, I'm worried it's gonna be too big. Fingers crossed it's not gonna be too big. I think it might be, but this is one of those dresses that I would have altered. 110%. Again, this is a midi linen dress. This is in a almost lilac -y blue color with beautiful, beautiful floral details to the midriff and to the ends of the sleeves and also to down here. This, for a summer wedding, obviously my heart goes out to all of the brides that have had their weddings um, canceled, but for future weddings, this is the dress that I would go for. How gorgeous is that? And obviously, like I said, you can buy what you want from Zimmerman. I would say if you're looking to have something that's gonna have a lot of longevity, potentially the whites, um, are the best, but this is something that I will wear all the time. I love, love, love it. And it's linen, so you can't go wrong. I was certain that this wasn't gonna fit, and it is 
perfection fit wise. Oh my goodness, this dress, <laughs> this dress is the ultimate. However, however, can you see that this top half, I believe is double lined. The sleeves are not double lined and the skirt is not double lined. I think that they've done that for aesthetic purposes. Now, I don't know if, if I was to put some even more nude underwear on, whether that would matter so much. However, I have a little, um, hack because I wear so much linen I know the things to expect so I have these little things in my arsenal of uh, wardrobe essentials so I thought I'd show you this. In this drawer here I have my wardrobe um, solutions that's it in there I have all of like my nude items body suits and things like that and in there I keep one of these now you can get these from like Marks and Spencers places like that but this is a little slip skirt and basically if ever anything is see-through I slip this on underneath oh, that's back to front slip this on underneath and it should um, hide and look like the dress is lined as well. So um, let's pop it on and see. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so now you can see that there might be a slight lining to there. Now you can get a longer one if you want. Some people might think that that's not a good trait. And I think it's something for me that because I wear so much linen, I know that if it isn't double lined, this is the situation that you'll find, but then double lining it can make it quite heavy and lose the beauty of the fluidity of the material. So I understand and I buy knowing that and for a dress as beautiful as this to have something that I can just slip on underneath you can also just do like a cami dress as well I have that one just as an option but any nude cami dress would go absolutely fine under here to help conceal any VP visible panty lines that you might have but this dress is the ultimate dream. I am so, so in love with this. I'm so happy it fits and I kind of want to wear it for the rest of my life. <laughs> Styling wise, if I was gonna go to a wedding, I would 110% wear my new Bulgari Serpenty Forever bag. I think the color of this goes so perfectly with the flowers and it's super complimentary. If I wanted slightly more formal shoes, I could go for either my Jimmy Choo's with the um, Diamante strap or for something more comfortable with my rock stud kind of sandals. Either way, this dress is super wearable and oh my gosh, I think so far it's one of my favorites. I am obsessed and that was my tummy rumbling. Oh my gosh, I need to have lunch. Take a shot every time I say linen in my vlogs during summer. Um, and then we have this one. This is a brand called Asino and this is another linen shirt, but this is an oversized one. So I wanted one that was a normal size and I wanted one that was oversized that I could throw on over bikinis or whatever when I'm sort of in the garden or whatever. So this is a lot bigger and it's got contrast quarter shell buttons, which I love. Love this brand Asino, want to try some more from this as well. Again, this was the lower end of brands that you can find on Farfetch. But again, this is a premium luxury store. So these are higher price, price points than your high street stores. So um, those two are items from Browns. So I'll try them both of the shirts on and I'll show you what they're like. But so this is generally how I would style up the more oversized shirt and use it as more of a cover up. I've popped it over a bandeau swimsuit, but this is generally how it would be worn. However, because it's longer, you could also throw this on over a mini dress, something like a linen A-line mini dress would look really nice and um, just give it an extra layer. But this was the sort of thought process and why I wanted two white linen shirts. So one is uh, slightly more fitted, uh, more true to size so that I can knot it and wear it with jeans, wear it with high-waisted skirts, things like that. And this one was to be more like, I've taken my husband's linen shirt and thrown it on and look and just look a little bit sort of covered up but chic and I really like this so more for one in the garden if I'm sunbathing or on holiday fingers crossed we'll be able to do that soon um, but an absolute staple and I would say that it's good to have two different sort of silhouettes of um, linen shirts because you'll you might want one as a cover-up um, I would wear this as a dress on a holiday. I'd add a belt to it, but um, I wouldn't ruche it up too much. And I'd wear it with flats so that my legs aren't too much on show, but this could easily be worn. In fact, let me show you one second. So this is such easy holiday wear, just shoving on a statement belt over your swimsuit or bikini, 
popping some flat sandals, I could probably go with my Hermes sandals or something like that. Or there's some really lovely uh, ancient, ancient Greek sandals knocking about at the moment. Obviously if you're not comfortable showing off certain parts, I mean I don't love the top of my legs but they don't bother me to the point where I, I won't show them so this is fine I feel very comfortable very covered up and for holidays and things like that this is a great way to cover yourself up um, and not feel too on show but very easily with a, a linen shirt that doesn't need to be ironed and doesn't matter if it gets creased because that's how the that's kind of the beauty of the fabric so yeah just a little option here that you could do and I've literally just thrown this on so um, we still have three dresses pending so fingers crossed they arrive today <laughs> I was mid filming upstairs, I'm still in my dress, and I've realized I've got a phone interview with Stella Magazine in literally five minutes. So I'm going to close the door away from my husband and set up shop in the bedroom and just I've got my water, I'd love a coffee. Um, but I'm basically having a little wee interview with them um, just about like my home gym and styling and all of that stuff. So um, just answering a few questions about it and all of that jazz. So I'm gonna pop you on a weird old time lapse or behind, behind the flowers. I'm gonna have a drink of my water and dribble it a little bit. <laughs> Thought I'd pulled my dress then. Um, and I'm just gonna quickly go over the interview questions. I am so obsessed with this brand that I am going to wear it right now whilst I wait for all of the other items to arrive in the hall. There's three items, no, four, three, four, three, three or four <laughs> waiting to arrive. So hopefully they arrive today. I've just popped the, the Venroy shirt on with the blue dress and I love this look so much. So easy and yet lovely to wear. Honestly, it's so beautiful. Um, you're gonna see me wearing this a lot, I can tell. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go have some lunch. I've had my interview with Stella Magazine, so I'm just gonna sort of potter around the house. I think this camera has this weird thing where it like, when your face is in shot and in focus, it goes dark, goes light, and then when it's not, it goes dark. And I thought I had that setting on, but I don't know, it, it just, it was annoying me, but hopefully now it'll stop doing that. But yeah, this is my outfit and um, I'll link it in the description box down below because it's lovely. And I'll link it with everything and I've got my discount code, so hopefully I'll get to show you the other items as well. But now I'm gonna get on with my day and I honestly, I think I'm gonna consolidate the information on wearing linen into a blog post. I think I might sit down and write that right now because I'm inspired and I love being inspired to write blog posts. Today is the most glorious of days and this arrived this morning this is probably my new favorite coffee table book the aesthetics of this from the outside is as beautiful as the imagery inside this is like an architecture book it's called a white facade five floors and an open door i haven't had a chance to go through it yet yet but just flicking through the pages oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's mainly like photography there's not huge amounts of like writing it just kind of summarizes things and has i think there's an interview yeah there's interviews in there but like the imagery in here i love coffee table books like this that just have really it's kind of like pinterest but in a book oh. mm -hmm. but also really really beautiful in itself the uh pages are black and the the aesthetics of it are like this linen kind of similar to uh the nap book from Soho Home. So that arrived, I ordered that from Amazon and it is beautiful, fits so well with our home. But I've also had this delivery, but they're basically doing these like food boxes and this one is full of gluten-free stuff. I mean, for me, this is obviously very, very welcomed. I was suffering not being able to have it, but I don't have it the worst, okay? And I am able to make a choice as and when I'm happy to suffer with gluten stuff. So I'm, yeah, I'm never the worst here. I want to make that clear. Cereal, my arch nemesis. <laughs> cereal is my favorite thing in the entire world. I don't think you understand. Cereal makes me so happy and I could easily do this in like one go. Crunchy flakes of corn fortified with vitamins and iron, gluten free. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a food haul in here. We've got some free from chocolate chip breakfast biscuits. I love breakfast biscuits. Um, there's some Genius Loaf, which is what I buy usually. Veggie Straw Crisps. We've got some crackers. Oh, wow, there's even fruit and veg in here. There's free from pasta. More biscuits. Oh my gosh, golden oat breakfast biscuits. These with a cup of tea are so good. <gasps> digestive biscuits. They're not chocolate digesters, but they are gluten-free digestive biscuits. I could put my own chocolate on them. Oh my gosh, this is revolutionary. Revelationary? Revolutionary. 
I'm never gonna be able to know the difference between those two words. <laughs> oh dear. <gasps> vegetable stock. I use so much vegetable stock because I like making stews and stuff like that. Healthy stuff. I'm much more of a healthy cooker than an indulgent cooker. Oh, this is the cool box. Then we've got some rice. We've got some cheese flavor sauce mix. Oh, it's vegan. Interesting. Celery free, nut free, vegetarian, wheat free, gluten free, dairy free, vegan friendly, low fat, mustard free, preservative free. Okay, how is this not fun free? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I wonder if you can like send these as like a gift to people. Like, do you know, like just like send someone a food parcel. I wonder if you can do that. That would be such a nice little initiative. Fabulous. Oh, I'm so, I am so incredibly grateful for that. Especially at a time like this. I'm very, very grateful. I love it. This says something about cake on it. Okay. So this might be turning into a bit of a food haul. What is this? It's so heavy as well. Wow, so this is from a brand called That Cake. 80% luxury dark chocolate flake. Oh, so this is like a, like a luxury dark chocolate. A luxury chocolate, hot chocolate. Oh, Ali will love that. And this branding is so beautiful. And I'm guessing that these are recyclable packaging so they can be decanted into glass jars. Ooh, luxury milk chocolate flakes so that's 48 percent dark chocolate this is 28 percent milk chocolate oh wow they put in the extra milk chocolate oh yeah and stuff raising white fat that's so lovely so what on earth could be in this one okay where have i, <laughs> where have I put my box opener no <laughs> They've created a gluten-free version for you and have included our standard brownie selection box for Ali. Oh wow. We've also included some gluten-free flour in case you wanted to get baking yourself as we know how much you enjoy it and you've been struggling. Oh, this is... Okay, so I'm gonna cry. Ali? Yeah. Can you come here, please? He's singing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's hot chocolate. No way. <laughs> Straight in for the other box. Oh. Wow. oh my goodness. Now I think I remember that they- That is naughty. These people have been trying to send us stuff since our birthdays. So these are supposed to be a little like gift for our birthdays. Smell it. Oh look, a little chocolate orange one. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love that. Ali's favourite chocolate, chocolate is chocolate orange. orange. Three times tea time today is That looks sorted. like a millionaire shortbread type thing. He's not even listening to me. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so fat. He's just not even listening to me. <laughs> oh, I don't even these calories in there. I can't believe that you've got milk, uh, white chocolate, hot mm. chocolate. They're, no, they're not actually. Yes, yeah, so you melt oh, the chocolate yeah. and then you add the milk to it. Oh, thank you very much. Wow. That that cake. That is a very generous gift. Yeah. Lovely. So I've got these are all hot chocolates. Yeah. So I've got four. You've got more than four, babe. You've got five. Two milk chocolate, two white chocolate, and one dark. Oh, Jesus! Oh, look at all this food as well. This is, I can't believe this. This cheese flavoured sauce mix. Oh, wow. Dairy free, vegan friendly, low fat, mustard free, preservative free, celery free, nut free, ve vegetarian friendly, wheat free, gluten free. I'm like, what is it? It's a cheese flavoured sauce. Cheese free. <laughs> cheese free, fun free. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just had all of those deliveries, um, but Ali has summoned me upstairs because he wants me to help with his selection. He's got a voucher to spend online, some nice clothing. He wants me to help him pick, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are you ready to see my wishes? Yes. just making
making a very um, indulgent purchase of his own. He's buying some really strong pieces for his wardrobe though. We had a little discussion picking them, but he's picked some really, really nice ones. I think that this is one of the dresses that I was most excited about. Yes, it is linen. <laughs> I think, I hope. It could be a different one, but I don't think this is my Karen Walker one. In fact, I'm gonna, after I've, I've done this, not like last time when I was doing it whilst you were here, I'm gonna check and see if I can track where it was, because I did see at one point it was stuck in Australia. It doesn't tell me where this one came from though. I love it when it tells me where they came from. Although I do think this one was Italy. Yes, this one is Bruno Rosso. This is another Zimmerman dress. Oh my gosh, this dress, guys. The colour. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. It's like another mid-length Zimmerman dress. This gorgeous, like, kind of olivey, khaki-toned linen. Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I've gotta try it on now. We're gonna try it on now, we're doing it. I absolutely love, love, love this dress. I love the fact that they've like made it so that it ruches itself. These are all sort of pinned so that they don't go floppy, but I just need to steam them a little bit more because um, this is quite a rigid linen. I think it's completely double lined. I love the back of this, it is so gorgeous. The only thing that I think I'll need to do is I'll need to have this slightly taken in on the hips because obviously I'm quite narrow there, but then I've got this sort of area of fabric that probably just needs a little bit of taking in. It may be that once it's sort of hung a little bit and it's fallen out, maybe it's the creases, I don't know, but I really, really like this. So I would pay to have this altered so that it fits. But I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna send back the white one, the broderie anglais one. It's beautiful, but I definitely think I prefer all of these other ones more. And if I'm keeping all of these, then I think as, as much as I thought it was beautiful and I loved it, these ones are probably my, like my more favorite one. So I'm gonna send that one back out of all of them so far. I've obviously got the other two dresses still to come, but I don't think they're coming today. <laughs> Sad times. I have just tracked the one coming coming from Karen Walker, and it seems like there's been like a bit of a hold up. Um, I don't think it's coming today, even though it says it says yeah, estimated delivery Wednesday, May 6th. It looks like it's only just left New Zealand, so I don't think it's even in the UK yet. But fingers crossed, I'll be able to show you them in this video. <gasps> Definitely need to put all of this stuff away now because my kitchen is an absolute mess. raspberries and blueberries out because if I don't make my blueberry and lime cake today I think that they're not going to make it um, but before I do that I think I'm going to get these herbs potted because I've been meaning to for a while so first of all I'm going to label these with my label maker because as much as I love the blue I think the label maker will look nicer sorry <laughs> so this one's rosemary place a compost disc in a pot Soak in lukewarm water until fully expanded and pour away any excess water. So that one is rosemary, the first one that's gonna get done. We're just soaking that compost in there. So I'm gonna do basil and thyme in the meantime. <laughs> They are soaking away nicely. Once these are all done, I'm gonna pour away the excess water and sow the seeds. The seeds have been sown and now we wait. I did have some seeds left over and managed to sneak them into the raised beds uh, just over there because Ali says I'm not allowed to put any herbs or anything in there, so I did it anyway. So if they grow, what can he say? <laughs> but they probably won't because I'm sure I've butchered them. It is. Technically, <laughs> the end of the week. It's technically Friday, which means it's technically wine day. Although today I don't think I'm going for wine. Just as a heads up. I did sample the 44 degrees North Gin and holy cow, we're gonna be drinking some of that together this evening. Um, we have the windows open, the doors open, because it is a very, very lovely day today. We actually have our garden here at the moment, so the stripes are in the lawn. How pleasing to the eye is that? 
Ho, ho, ho. Obviously he is here, responsibly, socially distancing. And I've honestly, I've been quite quiet on social media this, this week. I don't even feel like I've vlogged that much because we have been very, very busy bumblebees in the house. First and foremost, this room is a mess. This is just a bit of a storage room at the moment. But if you come down here, we have finished up the painting of these lovely rooms. Now, they'll be looking very, very white and very, very boring. I mean, not so much this one. Um, we have a lot of antiques and a lot of really lovely secondhand furniture to buy to really rich up these rooms. Now, I haven't actually finalized the mood boards of these rooms yet, but I have finalized the mood boards of the living room and our bedroom and our ensuite. Um, I'm searching for the bathroom bits and bobs that I want, but this is what's gonna be happening in this vlog. So it turns out the uh, local paint place that we are quite close to was offering a buy and collect service. So you just phone up, let them know that you're coming, you pay over the phone and they will come and drop the paint at your car. So that is what we did. So I picked up some tester pots. I didn't do a tester pot of this one. I thought I'd try something different. Obviously I've done my whole house in, um, in Farrow and Ball. Um, but I wanted to try the pitch black from Farrow and Ball as well. So I picked up a tester of that. Uh, I say I, my husband picked up a tester of that. Um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. We just asked Ken and he suggested to try this. So I have set up my little station here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be testing the blacks on this wall because this whole room is going black. If you haven't seen my mood board, I'll either insert it on screen or I will um, link you to my home account where all of my mood boards go and I place loads of things on there. Um, in terms of mood boards, you might be thinking I'm mental and this is a very minor change, but do you know what? The only person that is going to be very um, tired from doing this, it's going to be me, okay? And this is such a subtle change for this room. I don't have to change any fabrics in here. The curtains can stay the same. It is just a shade alteration to bring it back to my neutrals. I have loved, loved, loved this blue living room, but neutrals I have realized are my passion. And so this room is going to be going black. This is going to be the black room. And I'm very, very excited about this. So we're gonna be testing those two out. I'm gonna do two big squares um, here and um, I'm gonna choose between the two and just see what we sort of think. I have been tracing the other parcel and as far as I'm aware, it hasn't left New Zealand just yet. So I'm, I'm assuming that it may not be here, but if it arrives by next week, I will like pop it in the video, but it might be a little bit disjointed. But I'm really looking forward to trying these. It's a brand that I've never ever tried anything from and these dresses look absolutely beautiful. So fingers crossed they arrive. Today, I'm wearing my Reese linen jumpsuit. Because it's going out so much later, I don't wanna wear all of the items over social media and then spoil the video. So I've like put them in my cupboard at the back and I'm like, La 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 la, forget that that's there, even though I already wore the Venroy 2 items. <laughs> um, but I'm really looking forward to having a gin and tonic this evening. The weather is gorgeous and this weekend is supposed to be okay, but then Monday, holy macaroni, it drops down to 10 degrees again. I'm, I'm hoping that it will have that sort of um, weird spike in the weather like we had last week when we were expecting like two weeks of rain or something. But yeah, it's funny. I know that people are gonna have something to say about all of this stuff, but um, for me, I'm really, really enjoying it. And um, I'm trying to do as much as possible for myself um, with like painting and things like that and testing things out. And I I'm also making sure that I'm properly planning everything that I'm gonna be doing. So nothing starts until I've got a mood board first and foremost, although the bedrooms have gone white, but nothing like nothing gets bought until I have a mood board. That's first and foremost. And I'm obviously trying to use secondhand and antique furniture as much as possible. I am looking into having our bed made at the moment because it's proving really difficult. I'm speaking to Tara Shaw, who is a, an interior designer in America, who has the bed from my, like she designed the bed from my mood board for the bedroom. I'm speaking to her now about getting it to the UK. I haven't had a quote for delivery and it would have to be like a custom made one because um, it's a lot taller and probably be too tall for, 
for our bedroom. I've inquired to the original bed company as well. I haven't heard back from them. I've just been sent another company that makes um, bespoke beds. So I'm gonna contact them as well, but I think that that's sort of like the, the bespoke is what we're gonna have to go down with this because I'm just not finding and I'm not willing to settle because when I settle, that is when everything becomes disjointed. So yeah. I'm looking into things uh, in terms of that, but like I said, we will sell our furniture on. I've actually had people inquire about our furniture already, so um, it's it's really great when that happens because at least I know I'm going. It's going to a home that really wants it, and um, it's sort of like the best way for this to to go. If you know what I mean, nothing's going to the skip or anything like that. Um, and I'm obviously then buying secondhand as much secondhand furniture as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Anyway, I'm in a really happy mood today. <laughs> it's been lovely. I had a cheese and gherkin sandwich for lunch, which was lovely. I do love a sandwich. And I made one for my husband as well. Um, and now what I have to do is I'm going to, it's about 3.30 and I don't want cleaning the house to eat into the long weekend. So I'm going to start the weekly clean because we haven't been sticking to the one room a day just because we get so tired and a lot of the time we're sort of working into the evenings and stuff like that so I think I'm going to kick things off with the bedroom give that a bit of a spruce up and work my way through the kitchen and the living room and probably the hallways as well so hopefully when it gets to five o'clock I get to sit down with a gin in my hand in the garden and enjoy it. the kitchen and our bedroom and bathroom done. I think I'm gonna sit down, relax and do some mood boards. This stuff is absolutely incredible. This is exactly how I would imagine gin that's distilled in grass to taste like it is. Honestly, this has gone straight to one of my top favorite gins. That with Monkey 47, which is obviously a really great one that you can find in most bars. So if you do like um, better tasting gins, I always go for that one. But then Duck and Crutch and this one, oh, absolutely my favourites. My vlog. Mr. Mill and Gordon has just come downstairs after I have been cleaning the house all by myself and demands that I watch what he's, he does this every single no, day. No, it's important that you understand why I wasn't cleaning the house with you. No. I was creating a beautiful piece of footage for memories for of the memes during spring okay so can we watch it you make me check your work <laughs> come on there is a good chance that i have very fluffy lips right now because i've just been kissing lumi she's sat in the driveway and she looks livid you angry <laughs> you were asleep weren't you you were asleep and we put you out for a little wee wee sorry pop it but yeah we are on the second bloom so we've got oh my goodness ali have you seen there's more irises yeah there's another four so yeah we had one of these last year and then I don't know where these have come from. And then look at these gorgeous little pink flowers down here. I think, are these carnations? I'm not too sure. I'm not good with my flowers. Um, and then this little pink bush is about to flower. And these, these little things here are my Montana Alba clematis. So we decided to go with the clematis for the climbers on the house rather than wisteria. I wanted white. I know that you can have white wisteria, but um, I just decided against wisteria and I thought I'd just go for something different, you know? And I wanted it to be quite white and floral and it's also evergreen, because I know that wisteria isn't evergreen. I might be, I might have made that up, but I'm pretty sure it's not evergreen. And um, so I wanted it to always be kind of green on the house because I think it'd be nice to, to grow up the house like that. So Aaron, our gardener, planted four of those today, but we need to get pots for the two that are gonna go up this big atrium area. I don't even know if that's the real terminology. Ooh, everything's just blossoming. It's wonderful, look at those. 
so beautiful. All of the cow parsley's out. Like a sea of cow parsley. <laughs> 